Hi, my name is Tim, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose a faulty thermostat on the gas boiler. Now, to begin with, we need to make sure the thermostat's actually calling for heat. So let's click the selector switch to the heat position. This will also turn up the temperature setting of the thermostat above the room temperature. Refer to the procedure guide at the top after each step. So we're going to click OK now that we've completed that. Next, we're going to remove the cover from the boiler and again click OK on the procedure guide. Our next step is to see if the burners are firing. And we can look in, you can rotate or zoom in if necessary, and we can see that the burners are not firing. We do have a pilot flame, but there's no main burner operation. So we're going to answer no here on the procedure guide. Next, we're going to go up to the circulator and see if it's running. And as evidenced by the stationary blue arrows, the circulator is not running. Now these would be spinning if the circulator was actually running. So no, our circulator is not running either. So neither the burners are firing, which means our gas valve is not opening, and our circulator is not running. We don't have too many possible causes here, but the first one we want to check is main power. Is the boiler receiving main power or 120 volts? To do this, we're going to remove the junction box cover, click OK on the procedure guide, and we're going to measure for 120 volts at the hot and neutral connections at these wire nuts right here coming into the boiler. So when the leads are placed across here, we can see that we do in fact have 120 volts. So 120 volts is being received at the boiler. We're going to click OK. Our next step is to check the transformer. Now we'll start by measuring for the 24 volts at the transformer secondary. So we're going to place each of the leads at the red and blue connections here on the transformer secondary. And our meter displays 24 volts, so our transformer checks out. So we can click yes here in the procedure guide now that we've measured 24 volts. Our next step is to see if the 24 volts is being received at the relay coil. Now this relay coil, when energized, is going to close two sets of contacts, one that will turn on the gas valve and one that will turn on the circulator pump. So let's see what we've got. When we place the leads at the relay coil connections at the white and blue wires here, we see that we've got zero volts. So although we've got 24 volts coming out of the transformer, for some reason it's not making its way to the relay coil. Let's take a look at the wiring diagram briefly. I'm going to click on the wiring diagram and we can see the placement of our meter leads at the relay coil. Now we've already verified 24 at the transformer secondary up here. So that really means that our only culprit is either going to be the thermostat here or possibly a broken wire. But let me show you how to verify that. After clicking no on the procedure guide, because we measured zero volts, we're going to remove the cover from the thermostat. Simply click on it and click remove cover on the menu and inspect for any loose connections. Now it doesn't appear that there are any loose connections, but again, if you want to zoom in uh, or rotate to see a little bit better, uh, again, all wires appear to be secure here, so we're going to click no loose wires. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place our meter leads from the red wire on the transformer, right up here, to the white wire on the relay coil. And that's going to measure voltage directly across the thermostat. And when we do that, we get 24 volts. Now let's take out the wiring diagram for just a second here. And we can see that our meter leads are placed directly across the thermostat contacts. And because it's showing 24 volts or a difference in potential, that indicates that the thermostat is in fact uh, open. Its contacts are open. So this kind of solves our problem, although what I would usually do in the field is go back to the thermostat and simply place a jumper across terminals R and W. And of course, if everything comes on, that just simply uh, is further verification that the thermostat's bad. But we're going to assume that the thermostat is bad in this case. Uh, we're going to click 24 volts on the procedure guide. We're going to click on the thermostat, click replace on the menu. And that solves our problem. Now, the last thing you're going to want to do is watch one full cycle of operation and go up to the residence and make sure that heat is being received in the residence. And if we look at the graphic coming from this piece of baseboard radiation, we can see that, in fact, we do have heat coming into the space. One last thing, if you want to review any of the steps in this procedure, click on this top left icon and you'll be able to see each step that we just took. Good luck on all your service calls and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. 
You can try our on-demand VR-enabled learning for HVAC by signing up for a free trial. Go to interplaylearning.com to get started.